it's kind of changed for the unit because uh, they you don't have a passport. You would need to get right on top of getting back. You know, working with our global partners is extremely important. When you're too pure for this wicked. Whenever you can get a person to person contact with the people, then number one, you learn more about the, the mission and you also um, see where you maybe can help. Which means if you would be interested in joining us, to get back in touch with the regional office right away. Takes you under its wing. Is it some kind of function? A reconstruction. If you don't have a passport, you would need to get right on top of getting back. So passe. Is that what passes for vision these days? I engineer. I'd really like to encourage you all to join uh, a number of us who uh, are going to go to Poland uh, this late summer, early fall uh, as a mission orientation trip. Um, we will be visiting with and traveling with Doug and Liz Sarles, who are are our mission partners uh, in Poland. Pre-World War II sites in Warsaw. Uh, we will go to Auschwitz, uh, plus another a number of other uh, important places in the history uh, and culture uh, of Poland. We'll also be doing some physical labor, although not terribly physical labor. Uh, we will be building a gazebo uh, there on one of the properties of the church. It's going to be an exciting time, 16 days together, and, and join us for a great opportunity to learn about mission uh, and ministry, uh, and we'll do this as disciples together.